Hello and thank you for joining me. Um, so Canada Gamer. Just gonna make a short video. Well, not not too crazy short. But we're gonna take Optimus Prime here. We've got the uh, original generation one. This is an art drawing down in the middle. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna turn this into an 8-bit art image. Uh, so we're gonna scale it down and pixelate it. And in order to do so, I'm using GIMP2 here. That's the uh, name of the program. It's a free um, art editing program. And what we're what we're gonna do is, if you could see the smaller image up top, we're gonna, like I said, scale this down and shrink it. It's uh. 332 by 448, and the one up top is 100 times 140. And we're going to shrink the uh, big one in the middle down to this one here, just by scaling the image. Let's go to Image, Scale Image. We'll put 100 in for our width. <coughs> and it actually auto suggests 135. Um, I did uh, with the previous one I did before it was 140, but doesn't doesn't really matter. Next we'll go in, we'll put our grid on, and then we'll configure our grid. Uh, we're gonna put this pixel by pixel, so we're going for one to one. Uh, it looks black, but don't worry, it's not. We'll zoom in, bang, there we go. It's a pixelated image. Now the the grid really helps for counting the blocks. Um, checking out what you're doing, uh, ju just a little bit of a, going to go into it a bit here, but you, you want to, probably the colors as well, um, you can set it to 16 if you want, uh, doesn't matter too much, uh, you can always just touch the image up, uh, with uh, your brush make sure make sure you set it to the the smallest one pixel though uh, basically what, what you're gonna see me do next is just go through see how that's red and then pink pink white light pink lighter color it's it's more colors than minecraft actually has because it just has red white and pink and light grayish so what you can do is just touch the image up grab your grab your brush and go in and uh, solidify the colors in the image so you you just plop it over to red which I will do shortly and then on the on the top of Optimus Prime's chest I'll I'll red that whole thing in Basically, you can just do that with uh, any image. Now, there are a couple exa other examples. For instance, uh, we'll go in, we'll grab uh, some Mega Man sprites. Now, these you could just uh, really pull them right out of the image and do an 8-bit uh, art in Minecraft with them because they're already so small and scaled down so really all you'd need to do is probably just add a grid to that and then zoom in to check it out another cool thing that i found on the interwebs is actually perler bead art and these these are just made with little beads colored beads pull out totoro here for an example but you can see how this would apply to um making a grid and plotting the blocks so I mean you could recreate this in Minecraft pretty easily what you'd want to do is just put your grid on a basic blank new image and then draw that so you could put um, any of the bead art or anything like that in there as well and then I just have some you know basic 8-bit stuff 
Boba Fett there. And I'll show you how I actually did it in game. We'll take a look at uh, my actual server, but that's pretty pretty much everything I wanted to cover. You get your free GIMP too, you do your image scaling, you slap the grid on, configure the grid, basic process for edit, editing it into uh, something pliable so that you can use it in, have a template basically so you can slap down the wool and create a structure in Minecraft. So we'll pop into the server and head out here a little bit we got uh, there's the big Optimus Prime in the server you'll notice it, it's really huge in the server and that's the 100 width by 140 height uh, I did do this all in survival so I still have some scaffold left and the guns not done along with the Autobot symbol but it took really a, a pretty long time just to do this now I'm going to run up to this ladder and climb it just so you can see just the, the sheer mag... Whoops. Get up. There, okay. The sheer magnitude of this. I mean, this thing is huge. Now I'll show you my Black Mage, Mega Man, and the Mushroom over there as well. They're smaller projects. Uh... You can probably finish one of those in about, about an hour if you already have uh, all the wool sheared. And trust me, this was a lot of wool. I did so much shearing. So much shearing. And it was all in that brown barn down there. That's where it was. Running around. I'd, I'd turn off the actual um, sounds and music in Minecraft. Because uh, the sheep going bat bat was just mind-numbingly like that drives someone insane. It does. You can't do that. You gotta you gotta put on the radio, <coughs> try and make a game of it, and and just shear those things like there's there's no tomorrow. Try to stay on the ladder, but we're gonna give you you know a little bit of a scare here. We're going to play with gravity. But th this gives you a real feel for just how large this piece of art is. I mean, this guy is massive. This was actually um, a measuring tower to make sure I would be able to build it as high as I wanted to. This was the first thing I built. And then, then I started on the legs, worked my way up. Oh, through the cloud. Bam, into the ocean. What an awesome jump. Just for you guys. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to drown. So, we'll head out here just to give you a little bit more of a view. Oh, you can see Mega Man to the left there as well. Like I said, the smaller project. It'd, it'd be better to start with something like that so you get the, get the hang of it. And I did actually do the Mega Man first. Still required a small amount of scaffold, and it, it really helps to try and count out what kind of colors you're going to need. Like, th uh, that was my bottom part of the scaffold, and then I started on the foot, went up, 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 connected, made the waist. Uh, then I started at the bottom of this other leg, came up there. You can still see the scaffolding I was using, actually, um, placed on the, the structure. And I, I do need to get rid of that, knock that all off, and finish the gun and the Autobot symbol there on uh, on his right side. But to anyone that uh, does some 8-bit art in Minecraft, I certainly hope this, this helps a lot. Um, just show you the, the mushroom and the black mage back here as well. Oh, you can see him already. These are ba basically... Um, I guess those are the size right out of the actual video games and mainly characters right out of out of the video game are the perfect size like that that mushroom 
And I was just giving you a little bit better view of the actual Optimus Prime there. We'll check him out. There's the mushroom. You can see that a little better. But yeah, there's there's the awesomest thing in Minecraft ever, Optimus Prime. Other than that, uh, happy holidays. Have 